2025 is quickly turning into probably the worst drought we've had in central Ontario since 2016. Um, lots of uneven tasseling and silking going on and I've had a lot of questions about how things are looking and how that's going to impact yield. Your corn plant is going to shed pollen for a lot longer than you think. I was in this field um, two weeks ago and it was tasseling um, and I'm back now and we're still, you know, still shedding viable pollen. Um, so even if you have delayed silk emergence, your plants will pollinate. It's just a matter of how much. When you see shoots and silks just starting to emerge, these silks are actually from the base of the ear and then silk development progresses up the ear as it goes on. So the base of the ear almost always pollinates successfully. The concern we have with super delayed silking is how long will we have viable pollen available and will it be long enough for the entire ear to pollinate or will we end up with tip back? So I'm going to show you how to check how things are looking. I've propped my phone up on a corn plant because it's impossible to do this with one hand. So I've grabbed a couple of ears from different spots within this row. Um, this one is kind of one of the plants that was behind. We had some planter issues here, so kind of uneven emergence. Um, so this one isn't as far along. Um, so what I'm doing is just carefully, very carefully removing the husk, trying not to rip the silks off. And then I'm just going to give the ear a shake to see how many of the silks fall off. So when they are successfully fertilized, they will fall off. So this one's kind of only about half pollinated. See, they're sticking on the end there. Um, but that one came from actually this plant right here. Uh, and you can see it's still shedding pollen. So I expect it still will pollinate a little bit more. Um, this one is from one of the plants that was further along. Um, looks a lot better. And you can see kind of the silks are brown. So it should be done. So when I remove that husk, most of the silks fall off right away. Um, and you can see they're not really sticking on the ear at all, except for at the tip. So I would expect, you know, we'll have a little bit of tip back here, but overall pollination pretty successful on that ear. So even if we have successful pollination, um, we're not necessarily entirely out of the woods. Um, this is from a field I checked Monday and it was planted early. So it's a little bit farther along staging wise. You can see the kernels actually starting to develop into the blister stage. Um, so it's going to have a little bit of tip back on the tip there where the silk stuck on. But if it doesn't rain, if we don't get any rain in the near future, what we're going to start to see as well is aborted kernels. So even kernels that fertilize successfully, um, once the plant senses moisture stress, nitrogen defic deficiency, et cetera, it's going to start to abort kernels. And in really severe cases, we can end up with what is called zipper ear, where we have aborted kernels actually all the way down the cob. The good news I do have, there's a couple things working in our favor. One, temperatures did cool off kind of in the last two weeks when most of the corn has been pollinating. So we really haven't had daytime temperatures above 30 degrees and then nighttime temperatures have cooled off significantly from where they were in mid-July. So that helps a lot with taking stress off the plant during a critical period. The other thing we have is wildfire smoke kind of holding humidity in the air. We saw the same thing in 2023 and while it's not pleasant it does create an environment where there's just a tiny bit more moisture available for plants which can help a lot. I have been out checking a lot of fields for pollination this week and I've been pleasantly surprised at how well a lot of stuff has made it through. Um, certainly not going to be a record-breaking year like 2024 um, but there is still potential out there for a solid crop, a good or very good crop even if we do get some rains in August and September.